Hello everybody, hello viewers, this is your girl Samuela. I'm here again today and guess what? Today we're going to be cooking jollof rice, Sierra Leonean jollof rice. Yes, we're going to go down and do it the Sierra Leonean way today. And if you enjoyed the last video cooking the macaroni, please feel free to subscribe so you can get the notification whenever we drop a new cooking video. And if you have anything you want me to teach how to cook, just drop it in the comment section. I'll walk you through the process. So I know you're going to like it. Today it's going to be fun because we're cooking it the Sierra Leonean way. So feel free to subscribe and drop your comments. Thank you. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to use to do the jollof rice for today. I have the jasmine rice. I have the mixed vegetables. I have the, the fish. I have the oil, the black pepper seasoning. I have goya seasoning. I have four onions that I'm going to use for the stew. And then... I have the bay leaf that I'm going to use for the jollof rice. I have the hunt diced tomatoes. And then I have assorted meat. They're already pre-cooked. I have the chicken here. And then I have the rice seasoning. I have three cubes of Anga Magi. I have the garlic. And I have the Mylar seasoning. I have the cabbage. That's one I'm going to use for the jollof rice and i have five peppers in here because i want it a little spicy so let's go as i walk you through so those are the onions in there and then i have the chicken and the fish so i'm just gonna wash them thoroughly yes and now I'm, yeah wash the fish wash the chicken properly before you start seasoning them So now they're ready. I already washed the fish and the chicken, washing the onions again. And then I'm just going to start the seasoning process. So I'm using one cube of magi, the hunger magi, for both the fish and the chicken. I'm going to divide it into two. And then I'll use the one half for the fish. And the other half is going to be used for the chicken. For the chick so now i'm gonna put that into the fish and then i have the black pepper just put a little bit of it not a lot so i'm just gonna put a little bit of black pepper while i'm seasoning it and then i use the goya the goya seasoning is not spicy it's not salty it's so natural you need to buy this i'm putting a little bit of it also and then the myla seasoning i'm using a spoon so you can know the exact measurement you need to use so I'm just going to use one spoon of it because I don't have a lot of fish in here. I'm using small quantity of fish. So one is enough. So I'm using the same. I'm going to apply the same process and measurement for the chicken. So now both have been seasoning and they are ready to be fried. So I have the oil already poured into the frying pot. So I'm just going to start frying. So I'm going to start with the chicken because that's what I normally start with. But you can start with either the fish or the chicken. It doesn't matter. You can start with either of them. But for me, I normally start with the chicken. So now I'm going to leave it to fry for like seven minutes. And then I have to turn it over again and give it more time so it can be really cooked. And the fish also, I'm going to leave it to fry. And then here is the cabbage. These are the ingredients I need for the jollof rice. I have the cabbage already sliced. I have tomato in there. I have the rice seasoning and the mylar seasoning. That's what I'm going to use for the jollof rice. So I have the water already in the pot. So I'm just going to blend everything together. I have the, the cabbage and all the seasonings in there and the tomato. So I'm just going to leave this to cook between 7 to 10 minutes. Now I'm washing the rice. Make sure you wash the rice properly so you can reduce the amount of starch that is in, that is on the rice here. Yeah. So you wash it properly. So now it's cooked. The water is boiling already. So I'm just going to pour in the rice. As you can see, it's clean and I've washed, if not all, but the starch that was on the rice, I washed part of it already so the rice is ready to be cooked so i'm just going to put it in and just mix them together so it can be blend well with the seasoning and everything so i'm just going to leave that to cook mix it properly and leave it to cook so now i had the onions in the pot frying i'm putting the pepper the blend pepper into the 
onion so i'm going to mix it together and then i start putting the seasoning into it so i'm putting the onga magi again just one cube of eight that's what i'm going to put in there and then yes i'll just put the onga magi in it and then i'll put the goya seasoning again into it it has a lot of natural ingredients in it so you have to buy this it's traditional it's nice and then i have to use the myla seasoning so this time around i'm going to use two spoon of it instead of one because the stew is a lot compared to the fish so i'm using two spoon of it so i'm just going to mix this together and then i'll pour in the diced tomato that i showed to you earlier yeah just pour it in there mix it together and then you're going to give it some time to cook and then now i'm going to pour in my assorted meat they're already pre-cooked remember so i'm just going to put it into the stew give it some mix it together so they can blend with all the seasoning for the taste make sure you mix it very well and then i'm going to give it some time to cook so while mixing it i'll give it some time to cook see it's cooked already so that's just the assorted meat and the stew that i pre that i was making so now i'm gonna do the very last stage which is just to put in the chicken and the fish that we fried earlier so i'm just gonna put them in there because the stew is almost done yeah they're right they don't need to cook for too long so that's why you're putting them last so you don't want the fish to be all over the place you want it bulk so you just put it last so you just get when you put the fish and the chicken